everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready for our vacation at the lake. We're going up there for a week for the 4th and I'm getting ready to show you all the stuff that we are packing. There's a lot of stuff. We're staying for a whole week so I've got a lot of food, blankets, suitcases. It's, it's a ton of stuff. <laughs> okay, here's our suitcases. Uh, Price's wow. is still upstairs because he hasn't brushed his teeth yet, so he's got to put his toothbrush in his. Um, I'm taking my big suitcase because my stepson Hudson is in Florida, so he has my little carry-on. He is in Florida with his grandparents, so he has my little carry-on. So it's just going to be me, Walter, and uh, Jansen and Price going to the lake. Clint uh, is sleeping. So he has to work a lot, so it's just gonna be us four. He might come up there a day to go boating. Uh, here's all the blankets and more blankets. This is gonna be for the cold food. We have a lot of food. Here is all the dry food. Lots of food, lots of food. Beach bag, well, boat bag. Lots of drinks. Walter is being a little monkey, climbing over everything. I gotta bring my camera bag over here. Put all my stuff in it. I've already taken two bikes up to the lake the other day when we went boating. Yes, you are. I've got a bunch of cold stuff in the freezer and fridge that's gonna go in there and I'm gonna put ice on it. So I've got one bike still to take up there and then a chair to sit in by the fire. So, all right, let's get everything in the van.
Good job! We got three! Little boy! Which Walker's not scared anymore. He's being brave. Day three. Walter's just swimming around. Walter! You're doing so good! <laughs> Look at you go! The sandwich. I hear you saying Lucy. Walter! Hi, sugar. On day four, we had some rain, so my sister and I cooked a really big breakfast for everybody, played some ping pong, and then had several cornhole tournaments.
me either. Claire, can I so, do price. Look at me, Gallon. This pricing. Yeah. Walter, put some glasses on. Right. Put, the put right. some glasses on, Walter. Put in the house. Walter, put some glasses on. Right. Let me see. Look at that. Okay. Love it. Tattooing cheeker. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> oh, I don't have one yet. Alright, guess I'll get one flag.
hope you're enjoying the video so far so tomorrow is my fertility consult with my doctor I feel like it has taken forever for it to get here I am super excited I don't know what's gonna happen I know I'm going to ask her about the Clomid and I haven't seen her in a really long time because when I go for my pap smears I always see the nurse practitioner which is okay with me because I really love her. So, um, but anyway, and then normally when I call for labs and stuff like that, I talk to the nurse on the phone. So when I see her, uh, um, she's going to probably be really surprised that it's, you know, been this long of a process and that I've been doing ovulate, ovulation tests for this long and all that. So, um, I think the last time I saw her was probably when I had to have my DNC back in, 2021 Ooh, I'm excited about the appointment and I will well it only be a couple of seconds for y'all but it's gonna be another 24 hours for me so I will see y'all tomorrow hey guys I just got out of my fertility consult with my doctor and I am so excited I could just scream right now okay so oh my face hurts from smiling I'm so excited so I get to uh, get started on Clomid and woo! So on day one of my period, which I'm probably gonna start, but I don't even care. Um, so on day one of my period, I have to schedule um, an ultrasound so they can look at my follicles on the ultrasound. And then on, day five through nine of my cycle i'm supposed to take my clomid prescription and she's going to start me on oh, i don't even remember what she said i think it was like 50 milligrams i'm supposed to go pick that up at the pharmacy in a little bit Woo! and i'm obviously already doing the ovulation kits so she already knew i was doing that so anyway she is going to, uh, during the ultrasound, check my follicles. She said if you have one or two, that's really good. She said there's a chance of twins, um, which would be fun. Oh, by the way, I'm on my phone if the quality is crappy, but anyway, that's all I had with me. She said if there's like six or seven follicles, that's probably not a good thing because we don't want you to have like quadruplets or anything. And I was like, yeah, that may not be a good thing. So. Um, she said, I really want to give you another baby. And I said, I know I really want another baby. Me and my husband want a baby so bad. So, and I told her, I said, it feels like just yesterday I was in here having my surgery, my DNC, and that was in 2021. And she said, oh my gosh, that was just like yesterday. So I was almost in tears in the office. And right now I swear I could do cartwheels in this parking lot. I am so excited. I cannot believe this. I'm just, I'm elated. Like I... I know that this may not work, but I just, I want to try and I just, I feel like we're moving in the right direction. You know, I feel like this actually might, something might happen with this. I told her that the last few months, my uh, ovulation, I feel like it's been off. I'm not having like a true positive, like I'm not seeing like a real peak. And she said that my eggs may not be maturing the way that they should be. So this Clomid will help that. 
I told her that like the first two years that I tested, I saw a positive every time and I always knew when my peak was and that the past few months have been, you know, kind of wonky. So this will help that. Woo. So weirdly to say, I can't wait till I start my period so I can call the office and schedule my ultrasound. This is so exciting. Oh. It's just something to look forward to, you know? Steps forward, steps forward. We got this.